So most of the time when you are buying something on the used market, what will usually happen is the seller will price it just above the average asking price for that used product. And then the buyer will typically be able to haggle it just below the asking price on average for that item and the transaction will typically go through. And then in some rare cases, you'll get some individuals who are spewing such ignorant bull that you just can't help but wonder how long they've been fermenting in their mother's basement. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce you guys to Ali. What exactly was Ali trying to sell? Well, I was going through my nightly routine of scrolling through OfferUp briefly to see if there were any good local deals that had been posted that day, and I came across this. Anytime I see an open panel on a computer advertisement, that usually shows me that the individual knows what they have. So if we look at this computer quickly, you can see a longer graphics card, which requires two six or eight pin power connectors, which definitely has a lot of promise. And at the top, you see the two dual fans covering a radiator, which leads me to believe that this might be an overclockable CPU. And then you see the four RAM slots taken up on the motherboard, showing that there is definitely more than enough RAM in this system. So right off the bat, everything I'm seeing shows me that that this is a pretty decent computer. Then you look down in the corner and you see $1,200 is the asking price. Okay, well, that's a lot. Let's check out the parts. Okay, he's got an i7-4770K, uh, GTX 770, not the best, but decent. Um, 32 gigabytes of RAM, that's nice. Oh, oh, oh what, what's, what are these? Ali, what, what are these numbers on, on, the, on the side? What, I'm, I'm seeing a fourth generation Intel processor. It, it is a K version, so it's overclockable, but, but you have uh, $420 written next to that. It, and the RAM, you have, you, have, you have 32 gigabytes of RAM. I, I know it's an, a fourth generation processor, so this is DDR3 RAM, and, but you have, you have three, $345 written, written ne next, to, next to the uh, GTX 770 classified. 380. So just right off the bat, looking through this, you can see that he's linked every single part that he has here in his computer, minus the case. And he is telling me that the total cost to build this system today is $1,955. What? What the fuck? Now, I know that most of my consistent viewers probably already know how absurd some of this pricing is, but for those of you that don't understand computer parts and their value, I'm gonna go ahead and go through these parts and tell you what their value is today. Let's keep in mind that this is his used system and he's trying to sell it, so the value of these parts will be going off of the used current value. Motherboard, Asus Sabertooth Z87, valued at $370 by our friend Ali. Well, a quick search on eBay shows me that I can buy one now for just over $100. Power supply, 750 watts modular, $80. Okay, now out of everything priced on this list, that is actually the most reasonable. If you're gonna get a decent modular power supply, that 750 watts, $80 is what you should be expecting to pay. Central processing unit, Intel Core i7-4770K. Now, don't get me wrong, this is actually a pretty decent processor for gaming and for editing. It's got four cores, eight threads, and I believe it's clocked at 3.6 around there, and it has a turbo boost of up to four-ish gigahertz. And obviously, since it's overclockable, you can push it even higher. But Ali is telling us that this is a $420 CPU. All right, eBay. Oh, interesting. eBay's telling me that I can buy it right now for $180. My biggest problem with this price is that you can get an 8700K for $300 new right now, and you have the audacity to price a 4770K, which has two less cores and four less threads than an 8700K. And you and you think that someone is gonna pay you $120 more for four generations older of a processor. Like, what is wrong with you? <sighs> Moving on, CPU cooler, Corsair H100i V1. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is actually the correct price. Okay, all I can find is the H100i V2, so I don't even know if the V1 exists, but from what I'm seeing used, 
right now on eBay, I can buy one for $66. More than double. Good job, Ali. RAM, 32 gigabytes, Corsair. Okay, so I'm assuming that this guy probably got like those fancy Dominator DDR3 sticks. And don't get me wrong, those are definitely worth a lot of money. For me, eight gigabytes of DDR3 has always been worth $20. That is all you will see on this channel for every single budget build I've ever made using DDR3 RAM. I don't care what frequency that RAM is, $20 for eight gigabytes is a flat staple price. This RAM is worth 80 bucks to me. I mean, I'm, I'm just never, I'm never, never gonna pay 300, $345, Ali! All right, let's find some nice RAM on eBay just to try and cut this guy some slack. All right, I found 32 gigabytes of DDR3 Corsair Vengeance for basically $185. That's a buy it now price, so you could probably find it for cheaper. I'm fairly certain that right now you can buy 32 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM for 350 bucks. So I, I just, I don't, I don't understand this guy. He, you're trying to sell old hardware for not only the same price as modern hardware, but for even more. I, I don't want to think that you know nothing about computers because clearly you've parted everything out in a nice list, but like, come on, like you must, you must be an idiot. You must be an absolute idiot to believe any of these prices. All right, back to the graphics card. GTX 770, $380. Let's see how much a 770 classified is worth. Okay, there's one for sale on eBay and it's in a bidding war. And right now the highest bid is for $97 with $30 worth of shipping. So, I mean, basically $130. I assume at most it's gonna go for 170 at most. $380, what can that get you now, new? Uh, oh, oh, I know, probably a 1070. Oh, 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 wait, if you wait another month, probably a 1070 Ti. Oh wait, it could probably get you an 1100 series card if you wait even a few more months. Oh, but no, 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 no. Uh, Why would I do that? Why would I can get a GTX 770 classified? SSD, 128 gigabytes, Samsung 840 Pro, 100 bucks. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm not even gonna show an example of this. That price actually doesn't bug me too bad. I mean, I know it's the 840, um, but it is a pro version and the pro versions do read and write pretty pretty fast so uh, fine 100 bucks Ugh. hdd one terabyte western digital black 110 dollars one terabyte for 110 dollars oh my god kill me how much is that worth oh interesting buy it now for 30 dollars okay so we've gone through the price breakdown it feels more like a mental breakdown but now that we've seen everything that uh is inside this computer and what he values it at let's go and check out what this individual had to say when i decided to question uh, some of his decisions how come you're trying to sell this for so much the value of all the components even used if you were to build this computer yourself is over nineteen hundred dollars you could build an 8700k build for cheaper than twelve hundred dollars right now though you can build a pc that matches everything this can do for twelve hundred dollars the computer is twelve hundred dollars or best offer thanks i would bet you any amount of money i could build a computer under twelve hundred dollars that could play any game with better frame rates and render any video faster than the computer you have for sale. Incorrect. Have a good day. You won't bet me because you know you're wrong. You're an idiot. Move on with your life. But I'm right. Why am I an idiot if I'm pointing out that you're wrong? You're wrong and you're an idiot. But I'm right. Newegg.com has a bundle of the 8700K for a little less than $900. Then the rest of that money would be used to buy a 1066 gigabyte or a 1070 on sale. Please use your superior logic to show how this is wrong. You're an idiot. Waste your time somewhere else. It's not desired here. You've yet to explain how I'm an idiot for being correct. Interesting. Yep. Just in case someone happens to buy that outdated rig off you for 1200, here's something you could use that money for. So I linked him a PC part picker list that I will leave in the description that actually shows you how you could build a far superior rig than what this 
crap he's offering at the price point for, for less than $1,200. So if you're looking to build something within that budget range, God bless you and here's your free part list in the description. Sounds like you're too stupid to comprehend even basic sentences. You're an idiot. Waste your time somewhere else. It's not desired here. Part two. Sounds like you're trying to overprice hardware and call me the same name when you've yet to come up with any concrete reasoning to back it up. Does it hurt being that stupid? I've always wondered. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. But Ali, I'm having such a good time. Call me crazy, but I consider us friends at this point. Tell you what, let's go have these. I'll advertise your computer to 12 year olds that really want to play Fortnite on the highest settings, and I bet we can get one of them to beg his mom for her credit card. I'll process the payment, you get 600, I get 600. Deal? What? And that was the end of our conversation. So at some point in the middle there, I pretty much gave up on trying to reason with our boy Ali with absolute facts and truths and pretty much just decided I would try to troll him and have a little bit of fun. But considering you use the same two lines over and over again, um, I don't think that he actually had enough uh, computing power up here to understand what I was doing. But enough ragging on this idiot. Ultimately, if we're gonna break this down using simple economics, what you are trying to sell is only worth what someone is willing to pay for it. So if someone is willing to pay $1,200 for this unbelievably up-to-date, modern, amazing computer, it's worth $1,200. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video or found it at least somewhat entertaining. Uh, I know I showed a lot more of my personality in this than I usually do. Prices fire me up and I know a lot of you guys were asking, you know, maybe show a little bit more of your personality. So if you liked it, you know, let me know. Give me a like, say something in the comments. And if you didn't like it, you know, let me know and I'll just tuck it away and never make a facial expression ever again. That said, really, I, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, have a great day. Oh, my God.